Hello everyone, welcome to Entertainment and today I am giving you my, today, in this video, I am giving you my review of Rambo Last Blood. Now before I get into this, and why I have this article put up, uh, why I have this article up on screen, let me just remind you to subscribe if you like my content, like the video, and share the video with anyone whom you think might be interested in this topic. Also, I'm asking you to share the video because that's the only way anyone can even be found on YouTube. And if and why I'm asking you to subscribe is because not only because you if you like my content, but it's the only way anyone can be found. Unfortunately, that's the way it is because that's YouTube's algorithm now for some reason. The only way for you to be found is if people watch your video and if people are if you have multiple subscribers and if pe more people more people share your video. It is what it is. I know. I know you probably are getting sick of people asking you to subscribe, but we have to. It's the only way because look, my my channel's small. <laughs> it's smaller than small, and the only way for it to get big is for more people to subscribe. The only way for people to subscribe is if they watch my videos, and the only way for them to watch my videos is if people share them. Because if people don't share them, otherwise, it, otherwise my videos don't get found. With that, with that explanation out of the way, let's get into my review. So I'm going to give you guys my review first, then I'm going to go into this article. So, here are my thoughts when it comes to Rambo. Rambo Last Blood. I liked the movie. I did. I thought it was a very enjoyable and I thought it was a fun movie. Now, if you're gonna, if you're going into this movie expecting to see explosions, if you're going into this movie expecting to see Rambo kill some people, then you're gonna get, then you're gonna get it. Trust me, you're gonna get it. Now, let's talk about the good, then we're gonna get into the bad. Sylvester Stallone was great. The action was amazing. The, the the death, the violence, beautiful. If that's what you're going, you're going to get your money. If that's why you're going to see this movie, you're going to get your money's worth. Trust me on that. Okay, so um, uh, anything else when it comes to the good? Uh, oh, yeah, the actors who played the villains, I thought they were good. I liked them. Uh, the woman who plays the uh, the grandma loved her. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm blanking on their names. I didn't look up their names before I uh, started, started this uh, video. So, okay, to get into the bad, uh, when it comes to the writing, I thought that there was uh, there were there, there were some writing problems or some logic problems. Um, some things happen again without getting. I'm trying to avoid spoilers at all costs. It's going to be a spoiler-free review. Um, without getting into spoilers, let's just say some things happen that don't really make any sense. Like, it, it does make you question what's going on. Also, some of the dialogue I thought was kind of cheesy. It didn't feel natural. It felt like, felt almost like, uh, it felt almost like the kind of dialogue you'd see in a soap opera. If, if you saw the movie, I think you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, but anyway, with that being said, let's, um, anyway, to, to sum it up, I like the movie despite the bad. I, I really like the movie overall. I loved it, and I think you're gonna like it if you went into this movie expecting what I expected, which is to see Rambo. On that level, you're gonna love it. You're gonna be satisfied if you're going in there expecting sort of like a deep story, kind of like the first one. I'm I'm afraid you're not really gonna get it. I'm I'm sorry. Now, with with my with that with the review out of the way. The reason why I have this article put, pulled up is because for anyone out there who possibly still looks at Rotten Tomatoes as to, you know, to help you decide whether or not to go see a movie, don't. Just please, please don't. As, as this, and this is coming from someone who was like you. I used to look to Rotten Tomatoes to help me decide whether or not I would go see a movie, but I stopped. And it's mostly because of the shit like this. Sh shit like this. So the critics gave uh, Rambo, like from the critics, we get a 35% on Rotten Tomatoes. So most critics did not like the movie. Whereas if you look at the audience score, more people liked the movie than the people who didn't like the movie. Now, what does that tell you? Now, should you listen to these people? Or are you going to listen to these people? Now, for some people, they might think, well, aren't these people like professional critics? Like, aren't these professional movie reviewers? Like, so wouldn't they know? 
you know what? In in some cases, yes. In some cases, you would think that, that since these people who's like their literal job is to review movies, that you would think that they would know what the fuck they're talking about. My only problem, and I'm not going to go to Rotten Tomatoes because I'm, I don't want to give them the clicks. My only problem is that if you read some of the reviews, you'll find out some of the reasons they give, or at least the people who said they did like the movie, the reasons they give you are absolute garbage. Like, it proves that these people are garbage critics. You want to know why? Let me just give you an example as to what some of the people who did not like the movie, or at least the critics who said they didn't like the movie. Here's an example of what they said. They actually said that the reason why this movie does not work is because it's problematic. Is because it has a bad, bad depiction or a politically incorrect depiction of Mexicans. Or that it glorifies Trump. How the fuck did Trump get into the conversation? How the fuck is Trump involved in a movie about Rambo? Where the fuck did Donald Trump come from? But no, because there are Mexicans, but because you see people going into Mexico, of course it has to, of course Donald Trump has to come into the conversation because these people cannot talk about anything without bringing Donald Trump into it. Like look, I don't like the guy either, but I, that doesn't mean I want every conversation to be about Donald Trump. I don't want every movie I watch to be about Donald Trump. But that's exactly, like, this is exactly why you can't trust Rotten Tomatoes. So, like, the, the reasons they give you are stupid. Like, and, and they don't even, critics don't even review the movie anymore. Like, they don't talk about the writing. They don't talk about the directing. They don't talk about the editing. They don't talk about the sound design. They don't talk about the acting. They don't talk about the cinematography. Nothing. They don't talk about anything that goes into the into actual filmmaking. They just say, like, oh, this movie has a politically in incorrect depiction of Mexicans, so obviously this is a bad movie. Which to me, like, okay, here's the thing. If that's the reason why you didn't like the movie, then you know what? That's you. But to say a movie is objectively bad... Because it had a politically incorrect depiction of Mexicans, to me, isn't a proper criticism. Like, that's not a proper criticism. I'm sorry, but it isn't. Like, in my opinion, that shouldn't be anywhere near when it, when any, any review of a movie. Like, you're supposed to review the movie. Talk about the acting. Talk about the directing. Again, the, the editing, the sound design. Fuck, the sets, anything. The writing. The story. I mean, I guess the story is part of the writing, but again, this is just more proof as to why you can't listen to critics anymore. You can't listen to critics anymore. Now look, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that all critics are bad. Some critics are good. Like, or at least they actually review a movie. Like, they don't bring any of this political bullshit into their movie, into their movie reviews. Some critics do that. But, a lot of these critics, or, and most of them you'll find on Rotten Tomatoes, or on sites like IMDb, or sites like Metacritic, which you can see here. Their reviews are garbage. Like, they only give a, a movie a bad review because it goes against their narrative. Because it doesn't promote the orange man bad thing. And to me, it's, it's more of a reason as to why, why you can't trust critics anymore. Or, or at the very least, you can't trust Rotten Tomatoes. So, again, why am I even bringing all this up? Because... If you're watching this video, and if you're somebody who looks to Rotten Tomatoes to help you decide whether or not you would go buy a ticket to see a movie, please, 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 listen. Go see the movie for yourself and form your own opinion. Okay, you, you could go watch this movie and you could not like the movie. And it could be for your own reasons. 
So, like, please, just ignore Rotten Tomatoes. For, forget Rotten Tomatoes, okay? Don't go to Rotten Tomatoes. Don't li don't listen to the critics when it, when you when deciding whether or not to see a movie. Trust yourself. If you're interested in seeing the movie, go see the movie. If you're not interested in seeing the movie, then don't see the movie. That's it. It's it's simple. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyway, um, that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you so much for watching up until this point. I know this sort of veered off into a different direction. And I do apologize, but I feel like this needed to be said. So, to wrap it up, I like the movie, and I recommend you watch the movie. Now, again, you could walk out of the theater that you're not liking the movie, and that's fine. But at least it was because you didn't like the movie, because you actually saw the film. Not because some critics said that the movie was bad because of this, this, or this. So, again, I'm sorry. I know we kind of veered off into a different direction, but, I, but I'm not going to take up too much of your time. Or any more of your time. That Anyway, I'm done. Thank you so much for joining me. This was my review slash, um, I guess you call it a discussion of this article. Uh, with that being so, with all that being said, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you liked the video. Uh, please let me know in the comments what you thought about the movie. Do you agree with my assessment of the movie? Did you like the movie like I did? Let me know all of that in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.